It's time for the second half of my story on the Drobo woes. If you check out the video here, you can see what happened with me on the Drobo before. But now that I've got the Drobo, now I'm done with the Drobo and I've moved on to Synology. And I'm going to give you my review on Synology and how it compared to the Drobo. So just a real quick summary of my last video. The Drobo went bad on me. It stopped working. I was so feared I lost all my data. I did everything I thought of to try to recover my data and nothing would work. And when I called or tried to contact Drobo, I found out that they were gone. As of January 2023, they shut their doors, no longer supporting. If you have any issues with the Drobo, you're just out of luck. They have their FAQ, but it seemed to be very limited. There wasn't nothing I could do. So out of desperation, I went on the internet and I bought me a second Drobo. I bought this second Drobo thinking I could just transfer my drives into it and get everything back again. Didn't work. I bought a second Drobo online. Same problem. Could not get it to work. So I finally connected the Drobo up to a second computer, reset it, was able to get it going long enough to actually pull my important data off here, like, like photos and personal documents. As far as my whole movie library, it was all gone. So once I got the important data transferred over and felt a little more relaxed, I went ahead and tried to figure out what I'm going to do without a Drobo. And I did a lot of research and I came up with the Synology and I really love this Synology. It works really well. Now between the two of them, they're about the same footprint. Yeah, this one's a little taller and a little longer. This one's a little wider and a little shorter. But as far as space, they take around the same space. They both hold five drives and I'll give you a link to this one specifically, the Synology, I'll put a link in the description below so you know exactly which one it is. It takes five drives as well, and they are both network drives. In other words, this Drobo is a 5N, the, five, the N meaning network. You can see there with the Ethernet slot, it only connects to the Ethernet. You can connect it directly to your computer through Ethernet, but the best use is connecting it straight to a router through your switch or whatever you want to do. I use it as my network drive. That's where I put everything from all my devices and all my computers. Worked out really nice. Now the Synology also is a network drive. As you can see there, it's got four network ports on the back so you can actually hook it up to different networks or you can hook up computers directly to it. It also has a nice USB drive here in the back, a 3.0, a fast one, and a USB port up front. The USB ports made it nice because once I transferred all the data to this drive and got the Synology, I was able to hook it up straight to the USB, USB, and put all my data on here pretty fast. Now, the way they both work is you have five different drives and it saves all your data amongst these drives. And they're, it's a redundant backup server. In other words, if one drive goes bad, the other four will rebuild a new one. So I had that happen to me several times over 12 years using the Drobo. The Drobo served me quite well for 12 years. And I had about probably about five different drives that went out at different times, one for each slot maybe. And whenever it went bad, I'd pull it out and put in a larger drive, which was really nice. So drive sizes didn't really matter. Same over here in Synology. And I was able to just rebuild the drive each time. That worked out really nice. Well, Synology does the same thing, same so sort of technology. All your data is put together here on the five drives. If one goes out, again, you just pull it out, put in a new drive, and they all rebuild it. And what's really cool about this is while they're rebuilding the drive, you still have access to all of your data, even the data that was on the drive that died. So you have no delay in your use, which is really cool. Now, both of them work with a dashboard. The Drobo has a dashboard. It was an app that you put on your computer. So you got to open up the app to look at the dashboard. And what was not convenient about that is you had to be at the one specific computer with the dashboard. Now you can put the dashboard on different computers and open up the app. It was very inconvenient. They didn't really have a good app at all for your mobile devices either. And the app was only good for some administrative services. You can check on the status of a drive. You can have it run a diagnostic. You can see how much space you have left through the app. You can change some passwords and some administrative access. And then of course you can load apps onto the Drobo through the dashboard. One of the apps that I really enjoyed using was Plex, the movie app, where you can put all your movies and Plex will allow you to direct them anywhere you want them. So you put the Plex app on your mobile device, on any of your computers, 
and you can actually put it on TVs today. You can actually stream your video content that was saved on your server. Now, what I actually lost on this Drobo was years upon years of DVDs <laughs> that we had purchased and transferred over to the Drobo. And I have since given away those DVDs. So all those movies were lost, but that's okay. That wasn't the important stuff. The important stuff was family photos and important documents. Now, Synology works very similar, but I like its dashboard a lot better. Its dashboard actually works as a browser page. It sets up a secure browser link that goes straight to your Synology, and you can use your entire computer to link up to it. And what's really nice about that is you can go to the link on any computer, and you can go to the link on your mobile devices. There's a mobile app for it, and you can manage it off of any device you see fit. I really like that better. And it responds a whole lot faster, and there are so many more things you can do with it. As you can see here, it just looks like a website, and you got different apps on it, and you got administrative apps, you got, uh, of course, your app apps, <laughs> app store, you got your app drawer, just so like on a phone. And what's really cool about this, it also checks the status of your Synology. It actually checks for updates for your apps or your Synology itself, and it will actually send me emails telling me I need to check something out or I need to go in and update something. And I've had to do that a few times, which is really nice. I never got any messages off of Drobo until a drive failed, and then it would just pop up on my computer. So I like getting remotely notified when I have any issues with this or something needs to be updated. Now, I've never had to replace a drive on here. I've done it several times on the Drobo. And the way that it works on the Drobo, of course, you just pop this in, and the drive just slides into the bay. It just slides and snaps in. And then when you want to take it out, you got to push one of these things and it's supposed to pop out, but I found it barely pop out. Sometimes I'd have to get a tool just to pry the drive out to get it out. I didn't really like the way that worked too much and it, and it seemed kind of a, a cheap build actually. Whereas the Synology is really nice. If you got to replace a drive or put a drive in, you just pull up this bottom tab and check that out. It just slides right on out, nice and easy. And the way this connects to there, it snaps in. There's no tools required to put this in place. It all just snaps in place and holds it real securely. And then when you go to put it in, you just slide it in. It just slides in, slide it in all the way, close, close. Drive has been replaced. So that's really nice. It's very easy to work with. Now, another big difference between the two of these is placement. I placed these in a closet across the room in my office because it was loud, it has a fan, and just with the drives moving, it was just, it was always really loud. The Synology here is very quiet. Matter of fact, I have it sitting on my desk right next to my computer. And it's constantly running, even when I'm filming videos like these. And you don't hear it because it's very quiet. I really love the quietness of this thing. Now, they both work off a of gigabit Ethernet. This one actually has a spot where you can put in an adapter and you can turn it into a 10 gigabit. Ethernet drive, although my home, home, everything's set up for gigabit, so that would be a waste of money for me, maybe down the road. So it's nice to know that I can do some upgrading if I need to. So that's really nice. If you wanted to add a direct link to it on your computer, you had to go into Drobo dashboard, you had to create a share, you had to actually create a drive ID, giving it a number for the computer to pick it up. Now you got a similar thing with the Synology. The Synology works even better. The Synology, you just allow it to access all the drives and then on your computer, you just have to know the administrative account and the password, you log in and you can just share the drive just like you would with any other drive. And then on your computer in Explorer, you just go and add a network drive. So on the day-to-day, -day, I just open up Explorer and access all my files that way. And it's nearly as fast as the hard drive on my computer. As a matter of fact, I do all my editing on Premiere Pro and I keep all the data on the Synology and it accesses it very fast. I have no lag in Premiere Pro when I'm creating videos because it's drawing data off of the Synology. So it works really good. So, so far, in my opinion, the Synology works great. I would highly recommend this as your next server or network drive 
course, replacing the Drobo, which is no longer useful. If you have any direct questions about the Sonali that you'd like to have answered, please leave them down in the comment below and I will see what I can do. I'll either direct message you or I will create another video on how to. I will tell you though, since I've just started using this a couple months ago, I'm still getting used to it and still learning myself. So the best question is one I have to research and find out for myself. So please leave them down in the comment. Thanks for watching. I hope you never suffer the woes that I had to with the Drobo. If you have a Drobo, it's time to change. If you've never tried a Synology, you've got to try it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.